Hi, and welcome to the Country Music Social Media Sessions. And I've got Darren and Steve from Hicktown Breakout with me. How are you guys? All good. Yeah, pretty really good. Thanks, Helena. Good. Nice to see you virtually. Like I just said, it's, uh, it's very strange to do everything like this at the moment. But uh, at the moment, we've not been meeting everybody. So it's been nice to kind of get in touch with everybody via YouTube and Zoom and, and do something this way. So uh, yeah. how have you found lockdown, lockdown, guys? How have you found it? Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's funny. We had... Um, so our last gig was it? It was January, Jan- January twenty twenty. Wow. <laughs> okay. That feels so long ago. In fact, we got a we our new bass player came in just just after Christmas. Okay. And so he played that one gig, and that's yeah. the first gig and the only gig he's played in like eighteen or fifteen months or something. Yeah. So um, so yeah, we, we've been yeah, it's been good. Sort of, we've got, got the EP out in January. Yes. So that was that went down well, and it sort of got us an opportunity to just get some new stuff out there. Um, and we're really just been sort of working on sort of a debut album now, which we're hoping to get out probably going to be beginning of next year. Yeah. Um, so we're sort of working on that. And we've got back, you know, sort of rehearsing now, gigs are starting to book up. And there's a couple of gigs where well, gigs certainly we're sharing with you as well. Helena. Yes. Um, but yeah, festivals are coming through. Uh, we're looking at sort of local gigs as well. So yeah, a couple of months from now, hopefully it's going to be lots going on. Let's hope so for all of us. It's been a long 15, 16 months or whatever it is. It feels like, I feel like it's been a bit of a time walk. You know, it's, it's kind of, sometimes I think it's gone really fast. And other times yeah. I think, wow, it's been, we've been for a lot in this last sort of 16, 18 months. And it's been, it's been long, but uh, I'm just glad well, hopefully we're coming out the other end anyway. So um, I, I played um, one of them, one of the tracks because I've got a radio show and Joe Lee was one of the ones that I played a lot. And it was really popular. I used to get quite a lot of requests for that. And uh, I played the video as well as my on the um, TV show, but that was, seems to be, before lockdown, <laughs> it seems like that was so long ago now. Um, oh, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> our, that's our debut EP, and that, I mean, that feels, you know, even being in the studio doing that is so long ago. That was, yeah. 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 But yeah, by. no, normality, hopefully soon. Good time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, like yes, yes, good. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. And also, I remember you did a track. Did you do a charity single um, for a homeless charity? Tell me a bit more about that. Yeah, that was um, so. Again, that was, uh, I was on a track from our first EP called Roses. Yes. And um, yeah, we, it was, that was that was in the middle of lockdown, really, wasn't it? Yeah. And we just thought <clears throat> we wanted to do a video for it. Um, we didn't want to do it like a big professional one, partly because of the cost, but also, you know, it, it's hard to do that and, and find people to do it. So we, we decided to do it ourselves and, yeah, we just wanted to give back something from it, I think. And there's, um, I mean, you're, you're quite passionate about um, the charity. It's called Centrepoint, okay. which looks at young sort of homeless people and trying to get them off the streets. Yeah. So yeah trying to get work and get them back. Yeah. Into- we'll talk a bit, but yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, it's always been a big thing of mine. I've, it's the worst thing in the world being homeless, you know, and especially for a young person. Yeah. You know, that no, shouldn't be happening. Then, yeah, it shouldn't be happening in this, this day and age. No. And it's just nice to give something back. No, know. it's great. It's great charity. It's great to raise awareness for music as well, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, I mean, exactly. We wanted to give something, and, and I think, you know, it's a, it's a I mean, Centre Point's a national one, isn't it? But yeah. we're familiar with the one in, in Bristol. And some of the work they've been doing, and yeah, I just thought you know, if, if music can create some donations, and you know, we did, we got a few hundred quid, which is great. You know, um, massive thanks to everyone who who sort of donated, and and felt like we were doing, we we're putting something back into uh, society a little bit. You know, so yeah, it's pretty, oh, absolutely, pretty, yeah, and that's it's a, it's a brilliant charity, very well for, and every little helps, isn't it? Every little helps for them, and uh, and also it just raises awareness for people that may hear that song or hear something about it and think, oh, well, I know someone in that position. Maybe they can go here for help. You just don't know how far it can spread. That's the one thing about technology and internet. It could, you might as well think, oh, there's only a couple of hundred quid, but someone may have been saved by that, you know, and it's... Yeah, it, I mean, it, the, 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 the amount of views were, f- I mean, it was thousands and thousands of hits on it. So you're right, uh, just because people didn't donate on it, just maybe hopefully you'd like to think that other people may have gone out of the way and, and you know, yeah. taken more of it for themselves. I think the, the charity was very... If you looked at their website then it was it was they were looking for obviously volunteers and people who can help looking at companies as well you could maybe place yeah. young people not like apprenticeship but it was more than just getting them off the streets it was actually trying to get them get them into work into work yeah, yeah and, and start sort of you know uh, fending for themselves so yeah it's um yeah we, we may do something else for them 
you know, oh, brilliant. Let us, well. Yeah. Well, let us know if you do. We'll sort of give you some airplay as, as well. I always think if you can help one person by something you do, then you've done your job. You know, it's that help yeah. that person helps someone else down the line. It's a pay it forward kind of thing, isn't it? So would you like to do a yeah. song for us today? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the first one we would want to do that. Yeah, we did halfway. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's take it. amazing thank you so much for playing for us and looking forward to hearing the next one um, in a moment so um obviously we've been in lockdown it's all been up in the air we've not been able to perform it's been pretty rubbish for musicians especially um when it comes to being able to get out there so social media has been important to get stuff across to be a charity single and obviously you've been with country music social media for a while yeah definitely. now as well how's it going how's it going how did you find that because technology and social media is important at the moment right? yeah we've got to <laughs> you're, you're quite you're, yeah you're quite um Privileges, privilege isn't the right word, but we had some bad experiences with live streaming, and yeah. um, so we've decided not to do it. 
Uh, we, okay. we, we did, um, we had one rig, one, one, one sort of, we did like a 30 minute set. We spent ages micing everything up. We had a company come and do it and it went totally wrong. Um, okay. Nothing worked. Uh, so we, we sort of came away from that thinking, you know, we've always prided ourselves on the live sort yeah. of music sound we create. I don't think any, we can ever get that feeling through through this sort of medium. But on the other hand, it felt frustrating because yeah. we still wanted to engage with our, our fan base. So so that's been a little bit hard, you know, because seeing, like yourself, Helena, you know, you're, you're online doing a lot of stuff and not the other country music, as we know, especially within the, the country music social media sort of family. Um, yeah. You know, it's good to see people still doing it. But, yeah, so we... So we so that's affected us a little bit. So this is why we're so pleased now that you know gigs are uh, gigs are sort of coming coming back to us, and we've got we've got some stuff coming coming up yeah. now. No, I know. It's a lot easier been. to do these things with um, a guitar and a singer, but when yes. you've got a whole band, it's just so yeah. complicated. Yeah, we tried to rehearse over Zoom once, didn't we? And then there was a delay <laughs> of like a second, and it just it didn't work. Yeah, that was oh. comical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, yeah. Like every, yeah, every respect to the people that have been doing live feeds all the way through. I mean, I, I started off when we went to lockdown. It was all very good intentions doing some live feeds. And it went all right. And then I did a few. Um, and it was so bad, the sound. The vocals came across fine. But my guitar sounded like it was underwater. And it was just awful. But no one said anything. And so I played it back. And I was like, oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> that was just really bad. It's going to do me more harm than good, I'm sure. And um, so, no, I, I completely understand we're not doing the lives. Because I'm the fair play to the people that have been getting it right. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's funny. I started seeing a couple of companies contact us who obviously they, they were willing to ship all their stuff to us. Wow. But even, you know, so it's a professional kit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah they, they didn't tell me how they were going to charge me, but it, yeah. was, it, <laughs> it, it was proper professional portable kit for live streaming. But even with that, I just, well, I've got to plug it all in, and I? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not too good with that anyway. So, yeah, they on technical yeah, side. I, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get back to live music, definitely. So, uh, Oh, so before yeah. we go, I'd just like to ask you, you know, future plans, because you said earlier you've got an album coming out, which you think is going to be early part of next year. Can you tell us anything about the album so far? Have you started the recording process? Or was it all hush-hush? <laughs> yeah, it's all um, basically it's all in, in the making at the moment. Yeah. We just, we've got, um, got a load of tracks together. We're just picking the best ones at the moment. Yeah, we want to write a lot of tracks and then be able to pick, you know, obviously we're looking for 10 12 on the album? Yeah, so we need to write 30 or 30, 40. Yeah, yeah. thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we got along. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're doing all right. Um, I think the, so the, the the second EP, so the, the first debut EP was, you know, quite uh, quite tame for us, I think, but we wanted to have a, you know, Puzzle Maker did a great, stu- great um, support with getting a sort of a country sort of vibe to it. Yeah. We wanted, but a lot of our, musicians have come from quite a rocky background and even though we're very sort of honed in country i think the second ep you really felt we just let go a little bit yeah. and we just wanted to give some people a little bit more of a slightly rawer sort of raw element of hip town breakout um if you go hear us live we're quite a big it's not a heavy sound but it's a big sound big sound yeah and we wanted the ep to try and capture some of that so i think going into the third ep you're gonna have a mixture of this type of style, maybe on the first and second, but I think our writing's just matured. It's um, you know, as five and all five of us contribute. It's not That's just good. a couple of. I mean, lyric. I don't get anywhere near the lyrics. I can. I could write a lyric if it smashed me in the face. But <laughs> I'm all about the sort of guitar and the riff yeah. behind that, and and some of the you know that sort of feel behind it. I mean, it's mainly you and Zach, isn't it, about the lyrics? Yeah, yeah. yeah they, these guys will come with us with a piece of music, and we just. Means I could go to work on it. Yeah. But it, it messaged me at three in the morning and stuff like, oh, listen to this. So my wife's yeah. going to kill you. Songs tend to come that sort of time in the morning. I, I tend to find that. Do you have any crashes with the band or is it all quite sort of civilized when you do the writing? It's, do you know what? It's, um, it's really good. It's, I think oh. it's, it's, take, it's taken us, you know, the lineup we got, we're really, really um, quite fortunate because we been are. A few all, changes. Yeah, we better not go into that. But um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we had yeah we had, we had a few changes in the early days um yeah. but we've got an absolutely perfect balance there's no egos in the band yeah we just want to have fun with it we want to get the still we're all about live performance yeah we absolutely buzz from that and um no we we yeah touch wood we just we just agree on everything and we're all pointing in the same direction it's wicked 
that's good. And when you come back together after yeah, such a sort of hiatus, that should you should get something really good going. I'm really looking forward to hearing it. Um, so what gigs you got coming up? You got anything you want to promote while you're here? Yeah, we've got some some tentative stuff still. So we haven't we haven't overly posted it on Facebook. Some some have got cancelled. So yeah. um, <laughs> you know, you sort of yeah, you're going and then it gets cancelled. So we're um, probably over the next actually the next few days we're going to post some stuff out. But what we got we've got some protective tentatives for July, um, but we don't know if they're confirmed yet. But sort of more local Bristol based. Um, for the first we've got a festival in August, which is Rock and Ribs, based okay, um, yeah. in near, near Yeovil. Um, sort of three day, uh, and we're on we're on a Saturday, aren't we? On Saturday, yeah. Um, again, if you go to our social media, but I, I will get a post out shortly, um, so people can find the links. Yeah, so we'll plug it for you. Yeah, yeah, we've got the camping sold out in about two days, isn't it? So yeah. it's um, yeah, so it's a real American. They've got like monster tracks, all sorts of going on. They've got oh, two, yeah. <laughs> two big stages, and we're on we're on one of those. So that'd be cool. Um, and then in September, we've got Foodies Festival in Bristol. And we've got, I think there's, is it Scouting for Girls? Yeah. Um, so no, it's Sophie Bexel. Yeah. Wow. Very yeah, good. I don't know if she's playing the same. But she's doing one of them and Scouting for Girls doing the other one. Right? Yeah. We'll probably get Scouting for Girls anyway. I quite like Sophie Bexel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's on... When is that? <laughs> I've got the glass on <laughs> September 11th. September 11th, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then in October, we got Country on the Coast, isn't it? Where yes, that's right. Yes, down. Smashing the state as well, Helen. I am, yeah. I don't know what's happening with it yet. So we're just waiting to find out all the finalisation of everything. But yeah, looking forward to it because I'm only in Bournemouth, so it's not far from me. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're on the Friday. I think we're on the Friday night. Which is the opening night, I think. But, um, yes, I think you are. Yeah, I think I'm on. I think I'm on a Sunday. I'm not entirely sure yet, but it's not been completely confirmed. But I think that's when I am doing more of a writer's kind of round. So obviously, I don't really have a band. I, I do sometimes, but um, usually it's, it's not a band that comes around with me. I do a lot of my stuff on my own. So poor me. Yeah. <laughs> what am I? But yeah, it's cool. great. No, it's great. It's, um, I'm looking forward to hopefully hopefully meeting you. But if not, I hope you will see you at some other festival at some point. Um, but before we go, just to th- again, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, speak to me today. It's been lovely to virtually meet you. Um, could you play out one more song and just uh, let, us, let us know a bit about it before you play it? Uh, right, uh, this, um, this one's Lost Myself. And, uh, um, yeah, it's just, it just one of those songs that makes you feel good, you know? And it's, when, when we play it live on stage, it's just got such a big a real... festival anthem feel about it. Yeah, it sounds a little bit different on acoustic, but you can imagine how it's going to sound when we all yeah. get on stage. It's, it's it's quite cool doing this actually. Sort of, that's why like unplugged. I've I've got my electric, but it's just there's nothing through. I'm just going straight to the amp. Oh, okay. And, yeah. Um, Darren's just going through the acoustic. And it's really rare sometimes just for, to <laughs> absolutely strip. And we're just saying like some of these songs because we can hear the big sound like yeah. that really works as an acoustic, doesn't it? So maybe we'll put an acoustic album out at some point. The boys like that with it. People like that, you know, fans seem to like it because they can hear the lyrics, they can sit back and hear the song as it was written kind of thing. And I think people like that. But well, thanks so much for joining me. And I'll leave you to do the song. We'll play out that one. Take care, be safe, and I'll speak to you very soon. Thanks, Eleanor. Thank Cheers. Yeah. Yes, thanks. Bye. Bye. It's easier inside this 